Hey everybody, how are you doing? And welcome back to Sway. Welcome back to my uh, video vlog series where I just voice my opinion and I ramble on for a good hour. <laughs> All right, everybody. So uh, it's been brought to my attention. It's been brought to my attention that two very wonderful people that I know. Uh, I guess there's an issue going on between them. I'm not going to disclose their names. I am not going to disclose any whatever issues it is that they may be having. I am not. That is nobody's business, in my opinion. Um, I can only hope and pray that both of them are able to talk things out. I can only hope and pray that both of those wonderful people that I know are able to just sit down across the table and hash it out, whether even if it's agree to disagree on a lot of things or whatever. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to get in the middle of this. I'm not going to make any any other statements other than that. I am not going to talk about it, whatever it is. Um, like I said, I can only hope that they are able to settle this, whatever it is, and um, be able to shake hands at the end of the day. All right, so today, today, uh, I'm going to talk about something that's going to be, that, that, that has been controversial for a while. So as many of you know, that movie Cuties came out. The movie Cuties came out last week. I saw it this past Saturday. I saw it this past Saturday. Um, people are going to ask me why. So September 12th, that's when I saw it. I saw it this past Saturday. I uh, Now here's the, here's the thing. Why did I see the movie? Why did I? Okay. So, with the cancel culture and everything, right, uh, with everything going on, you know, now me, I'm a, I'm a big, you know, as a dad myself, as a dad myself, you know, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to fight, uh, to fight anything that promotes pedophilia. Um, if, 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 if some, I mean, you've, you've, you've seen my videos, my previous videos concerning the Emory Smith thing. You heard my opinions on that. And, and, but with everything going on, with everything going on, Netflix started promoting the movie Cuties and the big uproar, the big uproar. And the big uproar was solely based on the promotional material that was given. Uh, a lot of people, they can't, they cancel their Netflix subscriptions. A lot of people, they are in, in and up. I mean, they're just pissed the hell off. That Netflix would even put a move in, and again, remember this is solely based on the promotional material. So, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make some comments on the movie itself. Okay. Now, when I first saw the promotional material, when I the, the you know the promotional material that was presented here in the United States. You know, on YouTube and everywhere else, was I pissed off? Yes, I was. 
And again, this is solely based on the promotional material. Just the promotional material. Like how the fuck, the, you know, where the fuck does Netflix get off doing this shit? You know, that, that, that was my initial reaction. Like anybody else. Where, you know, where the fuck does Netflix get off doing this type of shit? Um, so I started to investigate it even further because then I started reading different articles about other things and what have you. Uh, it was just, if I, if I'm going to give a true honest opinion, if I, if I'm going to give a true honest opinion, on something, you know, I want to try to, you know, be, you know, I, I, how can I explain this? I, what do I say? What do I always say? This is my opinion based on the facts that's presented for me. And then if, and then I try to do more research, I try to find out more information and I'll give my opinion based on even the more, even the, the more information that I receive that I obtain. So this is, that's what I'm doing. That's what I did. I started researching who was the director, who was the production company, you know, all of that stuff, okay? Mm. So as I was researching, finding out that this was a French film, uh, this was a French film, this was, uh, this was created by, uh, a, a, a French, it was a, a French woman, uh, I believe Singalese woman. And, uh, I started doing research on what she talked about. Okay, now first and foremost, okay, everything, the, the big uproar here in the United States is based off of the promotional material, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you, this is the graphic, uh, as you're watching the screen to your left, uh, Mijonet, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Mijonet, that's the French movie poster. Okay, that's the original movie poster. It's kind of like, it's kind of innocent. And that's from the scene from where Ami, after she stole money from her mother, they go to the store and, and they buy like, undies and whatever you know for their dance you know basically things for their for their dance team and that's more that's more innocent and what have you you okay so and then to the right of your screen it's the american let me move my head a little bit it's the american movie poster which is more disturbing as it is uh, i mean all right, let me just take that off the screen. <clears throat> so, as I'm doing research, and I and I and and they're asking this director, this writer uh, of the movie, all these questions of where she got the idea and this and that. And long story short, is that when she went to France, uh, to Paris, France, I believe, uh, I gotta find the original article that I was reading, you know, one of the original, but, she saw, uh, she, she saw a competition where these little girls were actually doing that. Uh, she was shocked. She was shocked. She, if anything, she was appalled at it. Um, so she started doing more research into it and all of that. The movie itself, the movie itself, you can, I, I, you can safely say that it is based on true stories of many girls. Uh, even, you can even, you can even say that it's also <clears throat> almost a biopic of her own life. Because 
you know, uh, she was a, she was a, a she's a French Singalese uh, immigrant who immigrated, you know. Um, so the movie itself, the movie itself, it is to a degree a it, it is it is ba- you can safely say that it is based on true stories not just of one little girl or whatever a bit but a true stories of uh a lot of little girls and 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 especially in the dance uh in the dance scene um and it's sad, it is sad to, it is sad, especially in today's day where everything's about Instagram likes, everything's about Facebook likes, everything's about this, that, and the other. It is, I think, I think, uh, the original intent of the movie, at least on her behalf, on the, the writer, director's behalf, was as a commentary, as a commentary of, of saying, look, this is the shit that's happening in in the world now. Um, now, if anybody has spent any time in the dance world, you would know, and especially with everything that's going on with Instagram and all that, you know, these all these little kids trying to get, you know, the likes and whatever, you would know that this movie is very factual on all of that. Um... That's if you've seen the movie. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tread lightly. Uh, I'm trying to tread lightly because this is a very sensitive topic. This is a topic that I am very passionate about, but at the same time, uh, I'm trying to see all the different viewpoints on on this movie i think it is a, again it is a great commentary on what the fuck is actually happening in the world now i've spent some time in the dance world uh my niece she's in the dance world um if anybody has seen the, the 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 show Dance Moms, I mean it, it's it's crazy. It is a crazy world of bullshit that does happen. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you a quick story, okay? When I when I was in college, and this was for not my sociology class. It was a class, it was a class, uh, it was a class where we focused on, uh, cultural competency. Uh, even though I learned that in sociology, but this is, a, I'm trying to remember the name of the class. But anyway, so in this class, we were paired up into teams, in, into, into teams of two people. Um, we were we were paired up into teams of two people. I got paired up with a, uh, a young lady who was very passionate about her her dance group. Um, where she volunteered and she and she would go into one of the local schools, and they and her and her uh, her her partner, her business partner at the time, they uh, they ran the group. It was a drill and drum. It was a drill and drum, okay? He took care of, he took care of teaching the drumming and marching techniques and all of that. She took care of drill, which is the, the, the different da- uh, dance and steps. Like if you, like if you've seen, uh, any, you know, like any college movie where, you know, the, the, the sororities and the fraternities, they would do these different steps and, you know, all of that. It, you know, it's, is similar to that but there is a whole there's a whole competition based thing in in the united states you know in every state you know nationwide for for kids and this was mainly a uh within the within the african-american community within the black community um 
celebrating 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 culture and all of that and alongside there's also you know hispanics and puerto ricans because we're all we all support each other <clears throat> so and i i got the chance to be part of the practices uh, cause one of the things that we both agreed on, uh, on how we were going to present this because of the fact of my experience with, uh, with, uh, media production, you know, video production, audio production and all of that, we wanted to present it as, uh, not just as a report of, Hey, look, this is what I learned this, and this is what she learned type thing, whatever. But we want to present it in a really cool way. And I was going to produce a, a video, a music video. So, I got to spend a lot of time. I got to spend a lot of time with them, um, just watching, just you know, you know, seeing them in action. In the meantime, I'm behind the scenes with my camera, and uh, you know what? One second, hold on. I'm gonna get off screen real quick. This was the camera. This is one of the cameras that I use. The, the actual cameras that I use to record everything. So. Uh, and, 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 and all of this, and all of this, uh, I mean, there's these, be you know, beautiful, you know, beautiful kids, beautiful kids from the age of five to the age of, uh, 12, 14, you know, doing this. Uh, and, and, and in the, in the way, and in the way that, uh, and the way that my uh, my fellow student and her business partner, they were presenting it, it was very respectful. There was nothing dirty about it. You know, they were just, they were like, you know, bring giving these kids confidence. You know, giving these kids confidence and and teaching them about like uh, life lessons and discipline and what have you. Uh, he, then it came down to the competition. Now the cool thing about the competition about the competition was that um, the, you know because of the fact that this was in a poor neighborhood uh, and these kids they didn't have much money whatever they they always did fundraisers to get these kids a, a, like a, like like a uniform and it was a, and it wasn't like you know. Uh, it, 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 it was always like sweats, you know, sweatpants, nothing and nothing tight either. It was like loose sweatpants, loose sweatpants. It was usually like a military fatigue, you know, like a, you know, like a, like, a, like camo, right? And shirts that matched, you know, that was like camo. And, you know, they were like little soldiers because they wanted them to be proud and be like, you know, have that pride of like soldiers. And it was really cool. Uh, none of the none of the dance moves and dance steps were provocative at all whatsoever, and you know because they, you know they 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 wanted them to have pride uh, of hey look you don't got to do this bullshit to be proud of yourself. That was what one of the lessons they were trying to teach them. Uh, and this was in the early. No, this was around 2007, 2008, I think. Maybe a little later. Maybe 2009. I, I'm, try, I'm trying to remember exactly what year. But, um, it was really awesome to see the way that they work with these kids. And there was a lot of volunteers, too. There's a lot of parent volunteers. I mean, a lot of parent volunteers that they were there supporting their kids. And so, and if, if, if the kids, you know, parents couldn't make it or they couldn't be a volunteer because they have to work two or three jobs. It was, a, it was a community. It was a community. It was a village. You know, you know how this, the old saying, it takes a village. It, that's what it was. It was a village. It was a community. And, uh, it was just, it was, wonderful it was beautiful to see it was beautiful to see 
So came it came down to competition. It came down to the competition. And uh, so we get to we get to the uh, to the high school gymnasium. No, it was actually a college gymnasium where the competition was. And I was just gonna film. I was just going to film. It came to a point where there was at least three, uh, a lot more than three or four. I, I, I couldn't, I can't remember, but there's like there there's uh, there's teams from all over the state. Uh, all over my state, there was teams from different states. I mean, this was a big competition. Um, but there is at least three or four teams that it was it, it was disgusting. It was disgusting where you see these little girls and they were dressed more provocatively more than the cuties poster it was just too too much they were twerking they were uh popping it back they were doing all this crap that they shouldn't be doing for girls that are from the age of five to the age of 14, that age range. It was, uh, basically every parent in the gymnasium that was there, every coach that was there that they saw these three or four teams doing that, they were pissed off, rightly so. They were teaching these kids these things that they shouldn't know. Um, the panel of judges, the panel of judges, for the most part, uh, they weren't the best people. They were actually kind of like, when they saw these little girls popping it back and twerking and whatever, they're like, hey, oh my god, cool. No, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. No. Um, it was just, it, it was, it was, I mean, it was just as bad as in the movie when they were doing their dances. I ended up talking to some of the coaches, to uh, at least two of the coaches from the di from two of the different teams, and I'm asking them, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And I'm, this is just me behind the scenes, like not even, uh, you know, and I, you know, and, and while I'm trying to prepare the, all this stuff for the videos and everything, you know, for this project that we have. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you making these girls, you know, you, you know, throw it back and this, that, and the other. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? And then I started cussing in Spanish, and the reason why I started cussing in Spanish is because I'm light skinned. <laughs> I'm li I'm a light skinned Puerto Rican, and you know, uh, and I don't have an accent like that. So, you know, some sometimes in the community, you know, in the minority community. If I don't start cussing in Spanish or something or say something, you know, or, or whatever, it's like they're, they're gonna think that, uh, I, I'm a racist white guy. <laughs> and it's unfortunate, but it's true. Anybody that's grown up in the hood, you know, there's that, there's that, uh, thought process. There is that thought process. So I had to let them know, hey, look, you know, like, I started calling them disgraceful. I was like, degraciado, hijo de puta, you know, like, son of a, <laughs> you know, I was like, but, uh, but it was disgusting. It was disgusting. How dare, you know, I mean, they're making these little girls dressed up like that and, um,
but yeah, no, uh, also, and, and then at the same time, again, you know, anybody that's been a part of the dance world where, uh, if you've seen Dance Moms, again, that's another example, you know, the, a lot of these little girls, they're wearing these really tiny, tiny, tight shorts and like tight, like sports bra type things and whatever. Now, you know, I've taken ballet, I've, you know, I've taken ballet lessons and, you know, I've worn the leotards and all of that. Um, and the purpose of the leotards and all that, and, you know, you don't wear underwear with leotards or nothing, you know, you just, you do, you, you wear, you wear things in certain layers, but the reason why is so that way your body can move freely. But so that's why, but that's why you wear the long tights and what have you. For other dance classes outside of ballet, a lot of them don't require you to wear leotards or whatever. Uh, so that's where you see in a lot of dance classes where all these little girls and they're wearing this, that, and the other. Um, I, you know, it, it is. In today's world where you have a bunch, now, you know, as, 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 you know, okay, I'll give an example with my niece, okay, when she took, she, when she's in ballet class, she'll wear her leotards, you know, the, the white, the white and the black, right? Uh, when she's taking, when she's doing her regular dance lessons for hip hop or what have you, yes, she, she will wear the shorts, but underneath the shorts, she wears tights. She wears tights. Nothing is ever showing. Uh, you know, uh, the shirts that she wears or whatever it's, you know, it's, everything is covered up and nothing is showing a lot of, you know, I remember in, uh, some of the dance classes that I took as a kid where again, because they don't wear undies underneath their shorts or whatever. Sometimes these girls are doing like. They're doing a high kick that, you know, you know, like a standing split, right? They're doing a high kick and you see whatever. And this was when I was a kid. Um, in today's, in today's world with all these pedophiles and what have you, it's like, what the fuck? You know, make them wear tights underneath. You know, it's, it's, we have a responsibility to our kids. Okay. We have a responsibility to our kids. And a lot of times I see these dance moms and, 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 you know, and, 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 and I mean, dance moms, if, if you, if you ever seen the show, you know how, how, how it is. That's exactly how it is. And again, this is just me speaking from my own personal experience. Uh, and, and that's, I mean, even it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But, um, in the case of the movie, in the case of the movie, we're not talking about, uh, kids who were taking dance lessons. We're talking about kids that they were trying to become famous dancers on their own. They were doing their own choreography. They were doing, you know, and in those cases, that's even sadder. In those cases, that's even sadder because they don't have the, they don't have the support of a, a teacher saying, you, you know, hey, no. Now, don't get me wrong. There are dance teachers that, you know, they will teach pop and lock and, you know, throwing it back and twerking and all that bullshit to kids, which is wrong in itself. But in this case of within the movie, they didn't have that. They were just on their own. And then with the peer pressure, the peer pressure of trying to look, trying to look sexy, the peer pressure of, uh, of just all of this shit, you know, with the main character, Ami, uh, it, it, it became too much. It became too much. And it happens in real life. It does happen in real life. Um, uh, 
And then, you know, and then if you follow the story of, you know, Ami and then her, uh, the, the issues that her mother was going through, the fact, and then also that she has a super religious aunt, you know, and, and they're Muslim and they're Muslim. So it's in their culture. All, there's just all, there's like all these different stories being told in the movie. Uh, and Ami with, uh, every, you know, the peer pressure and this and that and the other, it, 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 it's really sad because it comes to a point where she, uh, her cousin finds out that she stole his phone and because of what she's seen out there with Instagram and everything else, she's thinking that, okay, if, if I have sex with him, he'll, he'll let me keep the phone. So she starts to kind of take off her clothes. And as soon as she started doing that, her cousin's like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? And then she runs into the bathroom. And then again, this is just for attention. Now, they don't show any nudity. Like, the worst they showed is just the kids in, in a bra or something. But uh, it's... it's uh, How can I explain it? Uh, she, you know, they, they, they show... They show where... Uh, She's like taking off her pants, her underwear. Again, they don't show anything. So, but then she'll take a picture of her crotch and put it on Instagram or whatever. I mean, it, it, it goes to that point. It goes to, it's really sad. It's really sad. Um, like, but again, um, this movie is more of a commentary. Is it a good movie? I'm not going to say yes. I can't. I can't. In my honest opinion, I can't say it is a good movie, uh, because of the fact that they added certain scenes. I think it's a great commentary on what's actually happening in the world. Uh, it, you know, it is a great commentary on what's actually happening in the world, but here's, here's, Here's the thing <clears throat> that I will disagree with the writer and director of it is that like she wanted to make a bold statement there and, and basically she's defending her decision to show these scenes with the 11 year old and 12 year old girls. She's defending it as it has to be in your face or else you won't talk about it or else you won't see that it's happening we know that it's fucking happening we know that it's happening we don't need you to put it in the movie how many leaked videos how many instagram posts how many facebook videos you know that we see with these kids in a in a party you know twerking and whatever and the parents ah look at they're so cute and all that shit we don't need that in the movie I think the movie itself, the movie itself would, it, it, it would have accomplished the same goal. If, 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 if she was being honest on what her goal of the movie was, it would have accomplished it without those scenes. Okay, you can probably get away with, you know, having the girls dressed like that going into the competition, but not showing the actual preparation. Number one, showing the actual preparation to the competition where they're practicing the dances and doing, you know, what they did. Okay? Uh, the actual competitions, it's, you know, the actual, when, when they're short, when they're shooting the videos, when they're shooting the videos that they're posting on Instagram, that that they didn't need to do that. They could have just had the you know the, the the camera on Ami or whoever holding the phone and and she could have been just kind of laughing or something. Like that. They they didn't need to show the actual dancing parts. They didn't. But they they made that choice. They made that choice to do that. They didn't need to show the actual competition part. They didn't. They could, they, if, if, if she was being honest on why she, she made the movie and whatever, she could have made the movie without doing any of that. That's just my opinion. Without showing that. Now, 
there's a part in the movie towards the end when they're in the competition where Ami realizes, holy shit, what the fuck am I doing? Then she runs away from the competition, runs back home, and whatever. Um, they could have, for that part, they could have, you know, like I said, you know, they could have, sh- you know, they, like when they're showing the audience reaction, and it's and it's crazy because there's two or three parts in that movie where I, you know, they would. They showed these perverted pedophile guys, and I'll say the word, I don't care if freaking YouTube strikes me down, but somebody has to say it, is the fact that they showed these actual perverted pedophile guys enjoying it, enjoying it. They're like, oh my god, wow. You know, like, that. you, you see the reaction that they're having. At least, you know, in the movie. So, just in that, they could have just shown that alone. Like with music playing in the background, and you would know that there's something happening in the background that these perverted pieces of shit, not, you know, not the real person, but the character, <laughs> uh, that they're enjoying. They could have, they could have. Now, if you take away the, if you take away those parts, if you take, you know, but again, going back to the Ami, Ami, she's like, holy shit, what the fuck? She goes back home and then she changes into like loose jeans and, 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 and a sweatshirt, a hoodie. And she's just playing jump rope. Like, it's kind of like her realizing, you know what? I don't need to do this shit. Um, like I said, I think it's a great commentary, but it didn't need, it didn't need the, it did not need those scenes. You remember, if anybody, if anybody remembers the old school, the old school movies, uh, where the old school black and white movies, right? The old school black and white movies, even, even some of the early color ones, right? Where a husband and a wife, right? A husband and a wife that I love you, I love you. They give each other a kiss. Uh, they give each other a kiss. They hold each other's hands, and they're walking towards. They're walking towards the bedroom. Next thing you know, the camera pans to the window, or and it's the nighttime, so you're looking at the moon. And that was that was the nod. That was the nod saying, "Hey, they're gonna have sex. They're gonna fuck." You know what I mean? They could have done something similar in this movie where, or just show audience reactions, like, oh my god, yeah, like, boo, boo, or whatever. You know, again, they could have done the movie without it. Uh, I think the scene, the scene where Ami tried to seduce her cousin and then the whole where she show she they show her like they get they don't show her body like her whole body they just show her face and her hand where she's trying to take a picture of her crotch to send to Instagram or whatever. Okay, I think that's the most scandalous part in the movie that they could have gotten away with. Um, but again, again, is the movie a good movie? I I can't say I can't say yes. I can't. It's sad. It's a sad movie. It's a sad movie. They, 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 for many reasons, you know, you hear, you know, you get into, if you get into the story of, uh, of Ami's mom, the stuff that she's dealing with, the coach, the culture, religious issues that they are dealing with, uh, it's, it's a, it's telling a lot, um, Again, they could have they could have done the movie without those scenes. It's that simple. They could have done the movie without those scenes. They could have, you know, they. There was no need to have those scenes. There was no need at all whatsoever to have those scenes. It's just.
that what else can I say? There's no need for it. There's no need for it. Um, I'm trying to stay, you know, and, and throughout the whole movie, I'm trying to stay open minded. When I'm re when I was reading the different articles and all of that, um, again, trying to stay open minded, trying to stay open minded, and and re like, again, it's a sad movie. It's a sad movie because I've seen I've seen it happen for myself. I've seen it happen for myself. It is it, so. When I say it, it is a, a great commentary of what's happening, it's because I've seen it happen for myself. And anybody that anybody that's in the dance world they, or or dealing with peer pressure, you know these and what have you, they will tell you it's like holy shit. This uh, again, I think Netflix, Netflix, they they fucked up. Netflix fucked up, especially the prom when they were promoting the movie. But you know, sex sells, sex sells. Really, come on, what the fuck? Um, the movie's blocked on my Netflix. The movie's blocked on my Netflix. After I saw it, I just blocked it. I can't. I can't. No. I saw it once just to just to basically to confirm my anger towards Netflix. Um, now a lot of people that are that are doing reviews and things like that, they are they haven't even seen the movie itself. They have not seen the movie. They they are basing their opinions on the promoted material, and then also uh, people who are watching the movie, and and they're going on, you know, and, and they're 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 putting their phone like this to their TVs or to their uh, 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 laptops or whatever they're watching it on, right? And they're like, "Look, this is the movie. This is the this is all the movie is about." No. So if they're basing their opinions on that, it's it's. I can't say I I can't say that they're justified completely. Um, it is a sad movie. It is a very upsetting movie. It is a movie that. Netflix really fucked up on. Um, again, anybody involved in the dance community, the dance world, wh how, however you're involved, whether you're a dancer, you're a parent, or whatever, uh, anybody that's dealt with the peer pressures of these days, you know, with the social media shit and all that, you, you can, you can relate to it. You can relate to it. In one way or the other. <clears throat> You can relate to it. I know I was able. I, I I wasn't expecting to be able to relate to it. I wasn't, but I was able to relate to it. Um. Again, I, I can't say that it was a good movie. I can't. I honestly, I can't. I can't. It's. It's not. It's a sad movie. It's a very upsetting movie. I I think if Netflix would have promoted it the way that it was promoted in France, uh, a lot more people they they wouldn't be as upset. Like they would be pissed off. Like I'm pissed off at the the fact that they added these scenes. They did. They don't need. They didn't need again. They they didn't need to add those scenes. The the creator of the movie, the the writer and director, she didn't need to add those scenes. Uh, to make that point that she was trying to make. That's just my opinion. Um, but again, Netflix fucked it up even more by doing what they did. Uh. 
I think before before you start talking shit and what have you, see the movie for yourself from beginning to end with an open mind. Uh, I mean, see the movie from beginning to end with an open mind. Um, like, forget about the promotional material that was brought in the U.S. that made you pissed off. Again, <laughs> I, I'm not. Again, I'm not saying it's a good movie. It's not. It is a very sad movie. It is a very upsetting movie. It is a very you know, it was just, you know, she, the, 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 again, I'm, I'm gonna say it over and over again because it is important that this point is made clear. They could have made, she could have made the movie without all of that. She could have made the movie without all of that. She could have. There was enough, there was enough, uh, material, there was enough background, there was enough, um, Things in there to not need to have that in the movie. There was enough. Of, there was enough of that. There's enough. You didn't need to have the girls practicing. How to twerk. You didn't need, you know, and those scenes, I had to fast forward. And the scenes when they're, when they're trying to dance in, in, and to put something on the gram, I had to fast forward. <laughs> it wasn't needed. It wasn't needed. It was not needed at all whatsoever. I think the fact that Netflix promoted it the way they promoted it, they were trying to reach a certain demographic. They were trying to re they were Netflix was trying to reach out to a certain demographic. You know, the the pedophile, nasty, perverted pieces of garbage of the world. That's who I thought they were trying to promote. That's who I think they were trying to promote it to. <clears throat> Again, that's my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. I, that's just my opinion. Um, that's about it, really, because it's it's the movie itself. The movie itself um, is not obviously it's not something I'm gonna watch. I, I, I want my kids, my my daughter, to watch. Hell no. It's not something I, I, you know, any any kids should watch. You know, kids are going through enough. Kids are going through enough. Um, they don't need the. They don't need any more peer pressure to be doing things. They don't need any more ideas on how to become more popular or whatever. Where they do stupid shit. There's enough. I think Netflix owes everybody an apology. They do. They need to accept responsibility for the fact that the, the way they were trying to promote it, it was just wrong. Not try to do a half-ass apology, but like an actual sincere apology that the way they promoted it was wrong. Um... As it is, Netflix, the, the Netflix stock went down a shitload of points. They lost a lot of subscribers. You know, a lot of people canceled it. Did they do it on purpose? Are they only trying to reach out to the pedophile pieces of shit so they can put even more provocative and nasty crap? Seriously. Is that is that is that what they're they're trying to become? They're trying to become a child porn site now, or service? Is that what they're trying to do? 
You got to ask those questions. You got to ask those questions. All right, y'all. That's about it. Um, like, if you like, if you, if you like, if you like what I'm, uh, if you like what I'm presenting, if you like my content, you know, hit like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, share the videos. Uh, help me reach 1K. Help me reach 1,000 subscribers. You know. Uh, again, these are just my opinions based on. It was presented in front of me and until next time just remember i love you all peace